Hey guys, what's up and Merry Christmas to all of you. It's been a while since I uploaded a new video, so sorry for that. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. So for today's video, I will be showing you how to take notes from an ebook or a textbook. So this is a part 2 of my note-taking app video. And if you haven't watched my first video, I will link it in the iCard or in the description box. So for today's shout out, shout out to Hope and Jane, Janice, sorry for mispronouncing your names, and to my Abu Juju fam, to my friends, to Abby and Chelsea Dixie Hazel, Luis and Nika. And yes, without further ado, let's jump right into the video. So for the first step is we have to open our ebook. So in here, I just decided to make a reviewer for my earth sign subject and zoom out the website. I just press the control key on my keyboard and uh, the scroll thing on the mouse. Then I just press the F11 key on my keyboard. So what it does here is that I'm able to screen capture a section on my screen. I'm not so sure if the other brands has this option also but just stay tuned because I will give you other options on how to screen capture your ebook. Let's open the OneNote app, paste the picture. Next is just right click the photo and click for alt text and in here you will see a machine generated text of the picture where it reads the paragraphs on the picture. Next is I just highlight the text copy it and paste it on my notebook but there will be some misspelled words so you can just fix it or right click and select the correct spelling there will be some words that are not included on the generated text just go over through your ebook so you will not miss a term or a word and in here i just place the ebook and the OneNote app side to side so that i will have a reference and in here, I just repeat the process, but, but usually I screen capture the whole page of an ebook. So for the next step, I hope that you will understand what I'm gonna say, but you can just based on the video. So in here, in every line, I will backspace the first word in order for it to be like a continuous paragraph. So just press backspace so that it will be in a continuous line. And now let us proceed for my second option on how you can screen capture your ebook. So for the first step is to screen capture your whole screen and open the paint app and just paste your screen captured photo. Next, I just click the select option on the home tab and I'm gonna drag my cursor. And as you can see here, I can drag it and you have to copy your selected area. Next, I just click file and select new. You will have this blank canvas. I paste here the photo and press the crop option. Then just save the photo and uh, and I suggest that you name them based on their page numbers. So after you save the photo, as just go again to OneNote. The Insert tab, select the Images option and uh, select Pictures. Next is just scroll through your documents or and select your picture. Again, we're going to repeat the process. So you can also use this on those PDFs from the internet. For the third option, so this is the most convenient and easiest way to screen capture using OneNote. So go to your insert tab and on the images group, select the screen clipping option. So this one works the same as the F11. So you can just capture a specific part of your screen and it will automatically paste on your OneNote notebook. So this is just an example. So for the next part of this video, I will show you how you can easily make notes from your textbook without typing the words. So what are you gonna do is you're gonna need a scanner on your phone. So if you're an iOS user, you can just use the Notes app because it includes a scanning option, which is a good thing. But if you're an Android user, you can just download an app or a scanner. I think most of us already know how to scan. You just place your phone directly above your book and just adjust the page so that all of those text will be included on the scan. So after you scan and adjust the pages, just save it as a PDF. 
So what I usually do next, is, so I will upload it on my Google Drive. Next is I'm gonna open my Google Drive on my laptop and uh, just again I will click the F11. Or again you can also use the built-in screen clipping from OneNote. It depends on what is your preference. So after you input the notes on your OneNote from the ebook, then we have to eliminate some of the parts of it because our main goal here in doing our reviewer is to simplify it so that it will be easier for us to study. Again, I have a video where I also give you some examples on how to use your highlighter so that it will be easier for you to point out what are the terms the top so in here i just use the red highlighter for my topic titles again just eliminate some parts of the notes so that it will be easier for you and i just click the bold text of course you have to use those bullets or number bullets so the good thing here is by clicking the bullets option and by dragging it you can just easily change the design or, or like a sub key terms on that specific topic or on that specific meaning so in here as you can see i can just drag it so just do that on the rest of your notes and again make sure that your ebook is on the other side of your screen so that you can have a basis when making your notes so just play around with the different bullets those highlighters fonts and you can also put some pictures on your notes so that it will not be overwhelmed with too much words. So you can just see with a photo from the internet, insert it on your notes. Just go to insert tab, click the pictures option, and uh, just select your photo. And as you can see here, there is a portion of the notes. So there is like an excess topic so what i usually do is that i will copy the page just select the page right click it and select copy and to avoid confusions when you already have a lot of pages but i usually put this p1 p2 p3 page 1 page 2 page 3 and in here i just select the, the first page erased the excess topic then i will proceed to the page 2 of my notebook and i will erase the upper portion of it so this is just a bonus tip. You can use Google Docs for voice typing. So just select the blank canvas and on the tools tab, click the voice typing option. And you can now start reading your ebook, your notes during your lectures. Then just copy and paste that on your OneNote. And now you can fix your notes so that it will be easier for you to study. And in here, let us proceed to the shortcut keys that I use. Of course, Ctrl C and Ctrl V is the most important here to easily copy and paste words, paragraphs, and so on. And as what I've said, just press the Ctrl key and the scroll thing on your mouse. And in here, I just use the F11. OneNote also has different keyboard shortcuts that you can use. I will just link this website on my description box. And you can use this keyboard shortcuts to easily navigate your notes and that is all guys thank you so much for watching and i hope you learned something in this video so if you haven't subscribed yet to my channel click the subscribe button and the notification bell button and comment down below if you have any video suggestions so yes thank you so much guys for watching and see you on my next video keep safe guys wash your hands wear a mask Merry christmas happy new year Bye, guys.